Hello, I'm Charles. Well, today we're going to make the egg cocotte. It's going to be on the, the two shot glass right here. And uh, we got all the, all the utility right here. Some, um, some cheese, some uh, fruit, and some brioche right here. So join me with this adventure of making good uh, egg cocotte. Uh, we're going to pour the water right here to boil. About, you know, three quarter up. And we're going to tune it on. For high. And then when it's boiling, we're going to wait a little bit to put our eggs there, but gently. So what are you uh, waiting for the water to boil? Um, you can still uh, cut your bread. So you get that end first out. And you're going to have a nice slice right here. Look at that. Look at that. And then we're going to put this on tray. Right here. Good. For 350, I think it'd be fine. For 450, right here, it's a little too high. So we can cut some parsley, some fresh parsley right here. So be careful, don't cut your finger. The best way to do this is to have two ends. You can smell the fresh parsley. So we're gonna put some butter on the bread. We're gonna let it melt since it's hot. We're just gonna be let it melt. Have a thin slice of of butter. There we go. It's gonna melt in about, about a minute. It says the butter was cold. See right here, it's already starting to melt. As you can tell. Right there. It's getting soft. Right there. And then, when it's melted, we're gonna cut it in a small little uh, um, slice to put the eggs, to dip the eggs in there. So you can cut a little cheese to put in your eggs too. So you can have some blue cheese. And make it smaller enough. This is a, it's a blue cheese, so it's very soft. Very soft. There it is. I'm going to split those two right here. And we're going to wait for our water to boil. So now we can get some water with orange juice, or we'll make our own orange juice. You know what, um, oh, just water with a zest of orange and a zest of um, lemon. I've already cut some of it, but. Get some vitamin C, which is good for you.
you can put a little touch of honey if you wanted to, you know, to have a little sweet. But um, so this is going to be a great breakfast. It looks pretty good already. The most difficult part is to make sure you don't get burned because this is boiling water. So you got to be extremely careful. Each eggs like this, do not drop it. Just slowly, extremely slowly, and then. You know, drain it right here, go to the next one. Right here, slowly. And I have a couple extra eggs just in case. I have people knocking on my door, want some extra breakfast. So again, slowly. Do not drop the water anywhere on yourself, you know, just to be. Extremely slowly put it into the water because it's very hot. It will burn you. How long did it need to cook for? For three and a half, three, three minutes and 25 uh, seconds, usually. So now we're going to take the eggs out very carefully, slowly. Put it in a bowl first. Now still cooking in the shell, so we're going to turn this off. We're going to put it right here. The tricky part is to use those tongs. And then we're going to take one, put it right here. And that's the tricky part also. See that? There we go. It's very hot, so you've got to be very careful. So we're going to cut it. To hold the top. one. It's pretty hot so you be careful. That should, this is actually better right here. Look how amazing they are. So now we're going to put our bread. Or you can put a uh, little cheese if you want to. Put cheese in here. There. So we're going to cut our bread and slice it. Tell you what, use another knife will be easier. It could be bread or brioche, you know, either way. So if you like some bread or brioche, it's great too. And then you can even cut it smaller. And there we are. So all you're going to do is dip it. Look at that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is amazing too. My gosh. It's excellent for breakfast. that with a glass of juice or some water with orange you know some orange juice or clementine it's absolutely great mm. this is a great breakfast or a great meal for anybody mm, mm, mm. you got some fresh fruit with that you're gonna have a great meal, just a little meal for breakfast or brunch. It's great for brunch. Mm. Lovely. Well, thank you and have a great day. Thank you so much again.